Hey, it's Ghost with Combat Sports Supply. Today we're going to be going over how to set up a CO2 mag in your airsoft pistols. There are two types. The revolver, one of them is going to be a magazine fed. The magazine one will have the removable magazine that the CO2 goes in. The revolver will go in the actual grip of the pistol. And they all run off of a standard 12 gram CO2, which you can get just about anywhere. Now, all of these are going to require an Allen key of some form. The revolvers are nice because the newer ones will have the Allen key printed into the plate you take off. These caps are usually going to be fully set in. You'll need to back it off slightly so the CO2 will fit. And then your CO2 will literally just lay down in the chamber. When you're getting ready to fully seat the CO2, you're just going to tighten this down until it touches the top of the CO2. You're not going to go any further. What we're seating it against is that piercer. So once you feel resistance, you should stop tightening and be ready to actually fully seat the CO2. To fully seat it, now that I've got it against the piercer, I'm going to switch the wrench around so I can easily give it about a full turn. And that's already pierced and ready to go. I did it in kind of two steps. The second step was just to make sure it was fully seated against the O-ring. And the reason I don't go more than a full turn is if you go any tighter, you're going to start damaging that piercer. And they're very hard to replace and you can damage them to the point where it damages internals on the gun. What is the piercer to begin with? It's that little thing in there where the CO2 seats. Now you'll notice there's a little point in the middle of it. It's essentially a really wide syringe with a gap in the middle. As you tighten that CO2, it's putting pressure on that. If you tighten it too far, it's going to start doming that cap to the point where it won't seal properly. So if you're wondering what happens when you screw that up, it's going to vent everywhere. It's going to bleed out the front, bleed out the back. It, it's a pain in the ass. Every now and then you're going to get one that just doesn't want to pierce properly or seat properly. It's better to waste that CO2 cartridge than damage the gun trying to force it to seat. Now, why are we bringing this all up? Well, most people are under the impression that this would stop somewhere. It's seated right now about where the CO2 would be seated against the piercer, and I can still screw it in a long ways. One of the most common things I see go wrong is people over tighten them and damage that piercer to the point where it will not function properly. They're a bit weird to replace. It is replaceable, but it's not an ideal situation. Please don't crush your piercer. But there is a third style of mag you'll run into. It will feed through the bottom directly. You've got to be very careful with these. The issue with these ones being that most people will tend to just drop them in. And over time, that will damage the piercer regardless of how tight you're making it. To properly load a CO2 in one of these, you kind of want it at an angle and you just want to carefully slide it in so that it gently rests against the piercer. Now, the one tiny little bit of maintenance we're going to get into in this video. Put a little bit of silicon oil in the piercer about every four CO2s because it's a dry gas. It's going to wear out the seals in the gun. Don't be a fool! 